Have you ever needed to compress or resize multiple images at once on Photoshop? Well, I used to do this one by one until I found out Photoshop actually has a system that lets you edit multiple photos all at the same time. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to batch resize an entire folder of images in just one click. So here we have a folder with some pictures from one of my clients. And these pictures are pretty high resolution screenshots of their website. So if I go here to get more information, I can see that the file size for this is 116 megabytes. Now I could go into Photoshop and edit each one at a time and resize them and make the file smaller uh, to make it easier to share or upload. Um, but actually in Photoshop, there's a tool that will allow us to resize all of them uh, together and really quickly, it'll do it for us. So the first thing we're gonna do is, uh, I like to create a new folder um, for where the, the smaller images are gonna go. That way I can keep a copy of the big images if I need them. So I'm just gonna title this small and uh, this is where all the updated images are gonna go. So we're gonna go ahead and open Photoshop and you're gonna go to edit. Oh, sorry, we're gonna go to file and we're gonna go to scripts image processor. So this is really cool. Uh, this is gonna be able to process multiple images from a folder. So the first thing we're gonna do is select uh, the images to process. So we can select the folder um, and we can even include uh, subfolders if you have a folder that has other folders with other images in them. So we're gonna select the folder and we're gonna pick the folder right here and click open. And then we're gonna select a save location. So you can save it in, this, uh, in the same location. I like to uh, keep it in a separate folder. Um, you can also keep the folder structure if you wanna keep it organized the way you had it. Uh, but since I don't have folders, I'm gonna leave this unchecked and we're gonna select the folder to save it in. And we're gonna pick that new folder. It just makes it easier to keep things organized this way. Now, uh, the file type, we're gonna check JPEG. The quality, um, I like to reduce it to seven. That seems to be okay. And the resize to fit, here you're gonna put your maximum uh, width and height values. Now, even though I have a uh, 2,500 for each, that doesn't mean that it's going to crop it into a square. It just means that when it resizes the image, either the height or the width will reach uh, this maximum number, and then uh, the other side will, will scale to that. So uh, it'll just scale to either the width or the height, depending on the image. Um, we're gonna check convert uh, profile to sRGB. What this does is make sure that all the colors, uh, all the detail uh, and the date of the colors is, is kept. We don't lose any colors when, when we uh, change the, the image. Um, and we're gonna click here, include ICC profile. It's gonna help us uh, make sure the images come out well as, as well. So once we have set up all these settings, we're gonna click run and we're gonna see how Photoshop automatically processes all the images for us. So we're gonna click run. And we see that all the images are cycling through. So right now Photoshop is opening every image, uh, plugging in the settings, the quality, and uh, everything that we set up, and then uh, saving the image back into the other folder. So that would have probably taken a couple of minutes per image um, for us to do on our own and you, you just saw Photoshop do it in a couple of seconds. So if we open here the new folder uh, We can see here we have all the new images So exactly how much smaller did they become and uh, of course you can go back into Photoshop and resize it even more um, You can use even uh, lower measurements to get an even smaller file uh, but just to show you here the original file like we showed was 116 megabytes and now the new file uh, we're going to see here is 2.3 megabytes. So much, much smaller. Um, if we open any of the images, we can see that they, they, you know, they still work just fine uh, for sharing on social media or sharing with the client. So that's a really quick and easy way to uh, use Photoshop to resize multiple images at the same time. If you guys have any questions about Photoshop or web design, feel free to leave them in the comments, or you can also reach me on my website, icreateyoursite.com. Have a great day.